Hey, this is Mioma Finn, and I just wanted to catch you up on some of the crazy stuff going on in my life. Uh, I took a couple of weeks off because, frankly, I was exhausted, and I never quite got over the whole C-word thing in December, and uh, I needed the break, but during that time, I had, just yesterday, a tree fall on my house. So the strange thing about this is that you can see the damage on this side of the house and not going around to the front. Uh, but the strange part about this is the power company came and they turned the power back on, but that is the power line that stretches down under the tree and it goes back up and I don't know that you can see it in this video but it goes right back up to the power company to the line out at the street and they turned our power on but they didn't uh, this this is a live wire lying on the ground and so I don't want to actually stay too close to it uh, of course I contacted I played all the played by all the rules I contacted my insurance agent, left a message, he never called back, called, called again, left a message, they never called back, wound up having to call their main office in Lansing, Michigan, and spoke with someone there, um, and I had to uh, naturally call the power company and let them know that there was a tree on the power line and uh, they came and, and there was mass outages here in Middle Tennessee. So, you know, I imagine the power crews were working overtime. But uh, they came in about 6 o'clock last night. Ah, uh, there's a woodpecker up there in the tree. I don't know if you saw it fly by. But anyway, um, they came and turned the power on. But <laughs> we have live wires on the ground under the tree. And the worst part is, it's causing some kind of a power kickback that's burning out small appliances and lights and probably even major appliances. <laughs> and um, we called and let them know that there's a hazard after they left with the power on and they said they would get back as soon as they can. Can't really use the power line or power because uh, <laughs> We can't afford to replace all the things that are going to burn out if we do. Our neighbors are experiencing the same thing. In fact, theirs is actually much worse than ours. They're burning out quite a few. And if you hear that noise in the background, that's actually a friend of theirs that's come to remove some of these trees. And uh, I did speak with the insurance company and they said, we need to do what we got to do. And if they can move the tree without, uh, you know, blowing themselves up with electricity, then by all means do it. Um, they uh, apparently um, they don't consider this a hazard. I I don't get it. I really don't. I do understand the danger of you know, or not the danger, but the the mass. Uh, Middle Tennessee outages that are going on, but this is just crazy. In the meantime, I don't have internet, and I'm not even sure how I'm going to upload this video. I certainly can upload the video that I was working on for this week. Um, it'll come out sometime this week. It may come out in sections. We'll see. But um, I, I just wanted to let you know I'm still with you. But it's been a rough week, <laughs> at least a rough couple of days. Anyway, hope to see you soon. I'm Neil Finn.